when I discuss skin fillers with patients, I'll often discuss the biostimulatory effect of a dermal filler. And in fact, some of the fillers I use in my clinic, I use them purely for that reason. And that means I'm using them in the skin to stimulate collagen renewal. And they do a couple of things for you. Um, number one, we know when they're in the skin. When I inject these biostimulatory fillers in areas of the cheek, neck, chest, hands, that over a period of months, they stimulate what is known as increased cellularity. So increased cellularity is an increase in the number of fibroblasts. And the fibroblasts in our skin are the ones that make collagen. So we have increased cellularity, and then these fibroblasts start making collagen. What's really fun with these biostimulatory fillers is to pair them with what's known now as an energy-based device. An energy-based device would be a laser, uh, a radio frequency device, some type of treatment that we are using to stimulate collagen in your skin and renew the skin or tighten it. So they often go hand in hand. So it's surprising sometimes to my patients when they come in and they are complaining of loose skin on the neck, around the elbow, knees, and even the tummy, particularly if you've had a little liposuction, it left a little extra skin. They are surprised because I say, well, I think we need to do a little filler and give it time and do an energy-based treatment device. Um, like a radio frequency micro needling um, or a laser treatment, um, or we do them the same day. It's really nice to do the same day because I mix these biostimulatory fillers with a little bit of numbing medicine. So you get your filler um, and the area is numb, and then we do our energy treatment. So the biostimulatory use of fillers is, is really, in 2022, coming to fruition. We're understanding more and more about them and using them more and more. And it's just a, such a useful tool to help you maintain your youth and rejuvenate your skin.